Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis for Vagina Guards Dominance. Let's hop back into it, shall we? In the last episode, I declared on war in Bengal, called Jean Port co belligerent, brought in Malta, we destroyed their army. Now we're spreading out to do our sieges. Of course. Um I wish someone would go take care of that. Have these three infantry move on that one, and I'll build three infantry to to deal with that and that should be fine it should be being the keyword um, some of these sieges won't be successful because they need three people uh, yeah I mean it should be fine I just forgot they could do um, what's the word they could um, they could sortie out of the province so I may want to to beef up some of these troops here let's like send one here okay good <laughs> um, wait wait the one infantry I just sent here whatever it's all gonna be reorganized as soon as um, As soon as the numbers are good. So army, let's uh, get the cannon, please. Select. Send the cannon there, so you're all good. Let's send you in here. Your tech is 10. I have tactics on you. Hopefully we should win. If we don't, then all well, but if we do, awesome. Okay, good. This is all going to change when the new DLC comes out, I think, because um they're they're um, adding a new feature of forts so if i have a high level fort on the province bordering to enemy of course as soon as the war starts i automatically get occupation i'm pretty sure but if the me and the enemy both have forts on the front line adjacent to each other i think um i think something special happens i can't remember what it is but uh something happens uh I think they compete to the one with the higher fort level then gets control, but you know, I, I'm not sure, so don't uh, take my word on that. I'm going to build a mercenary army to deal with these revolts. Okay, getting these sieges in. Okay, good. I reorganize the army as soon as I can. You don't have a general, but hopefully... You should be fine. Oh, fuck. Of course. Boostability. Have a Regency Council of 101. The fucking disgusting. Pretender Rebels. Ugh. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, Bengal Delta. Okay, show superior. Tra no, not show superiority. He said, "Uh, that was um, words. That's transfer occupation or whatever. Not transfer occupation. That's trade dispute. What the fuck am I saying? He did trade dispute against me. God damn. Words, sometimes. Anyway. Um. Po, whatever. Got some unrest. That's fine." Okay, these sieges are all done. Move you there. That siege is over. Good. Very good. Nope. Trade dispute from Ethiopia. Oh, no, no. Ethiopia is a good, strong nation. I assume they're pulling trade for it, too. That's why they have a trade dispute. Yes, that makes sense perfectly. Very much so. Very much so. Okay, you should have a leader, but you don't. So, for now, enjoy. Okay, our guy that's about to come to the throne is a 143. So, it's going to take us a while to get this tech. God damn it. Okay, getting a lot of these provinces. Awesome. This is good news. Plus one relation. I love how I just have mercenaries dealing with the rebels. And the south is just like, yep. Uh, can 
I get a leader for this army yet? Like, please? Hmm. Okay, he hasn't sieged his stuff yet. Um, which is quite unfortunate, but... Lord Doab, that one. Okay. Don't siege that, please. He's gonna siege it. Give me another tick, please. Game. Game. Be, uh... What province is that? Oh, this one. Okay. Delete that. Because you're mercenaries. Uh, you gave me another tick game. I'm appreci I appreciate. Okay, thank God. Uh, good one, battle one. Nope, nope, sorry. Uh, can we siege that, please? Okay, that siege is over. Delete. So now I'm very upset that Sind got this province because I really would have liked to give it to. Punjab, but there's nothing to really do about that. So let me, let me fix this up here. Punjab. So boom, boom, right? Really? 50 dipper points. Money would be nice. I could make him a vassal, but. Oh no, I do not want that as Delhi P still. What the fuck? It nearly fucked me up. Nearly fucked me over. Really. I was like, why does this guy have so much money? Keep your alliance with Jean Tour, please. War operations would be nice. Good. So you got that one. You got your core back. You should love me. Probably about to integrate you immediately now because you're a bit too big for your bitches. Could only annex you in 1572. Okay. How have we not? S oh wow, we won that. Okay, uh, disarm you or whatever, or d destroy those uh, mercenaries. Uh, Shampoor, how have you not sieged that province yet? Come off of it! You've got to be kidding me. Can I transfer this occupation to Punjab? I can. Okay. I think that's the only one I'm going to give to Punjab because I really want to feed Punjab a lot of the Timuridian land over here. But while the Ottomans came in on it too and declared war on uh, Kora Kinyulu. Awesome. Um, and it looks like the Timurid civil war is over. Like they took care of that like it was no one's business. Um, okay, so like the sieges want to finish yet anytime soon that would be awesome baller i would appreciate immensely is there a level three guy i could hire yes there finally is i would really love that level three guy how can we only have a 101 at least this guy's a 142 so i still get in them dipple points uh oh, finally God damn, I thought you were going to take forever. So it's just this province I'm waiting for now. Um, come on. You can do it. God damn it, please, please, would you? Thank God, I thought it was going to take forever. Okay, which province has enough force in it for 40,000 troops? 40,000 troops force limit. 40,000 troops force limit. I know there's a force limit map mode somewhere here. Come on. You know, so I just need it high enough so that I can split them in half immediately. Whatever. Okay. You, Jampor. That one province is going to him. So, Nepal. Enjoy. These provinces. This is, this is, is. So Nepal gets those. Punjab gets that one. Right? You, you get that. And that. And maybe that. Nope. Shampoor. Oh, wow, that's too much. 
Uh, let's let's see. Hmm. Let's let's see low base tax ones here. Let's give this to Nepal. Uh, Nepal. Okay, Nepal could still take that. Okay. Can Nepal take another? Okay, yeah, he should be able to take that one. Nepal. Okay. Nepal, good. Money. The money. That's a hundred percent peace offer. People are gonna be mad. But do I give up? Nope. So that's peace treaty. Okay, good. Now, I want to annex Nepal immediately, or Nepal, because improve. The relative power to leash thing is going to go up there. For, oh, only at 42%. But of course, as soon as, um, let me re, hopefully they're all going to their location. Nope. There you go. This one guy is not going to go correctly. There you go. Getting Nepal all friendly. Happy. Who do I need royal marriages with again? Or to re royal marry? Oh, we need to re royal marry everybody, apparently. I'll get a diplomat. Royal marry. Good. I don't care, Bengal. Give me time. Give me a second. Got a row match a few. I don't have a row match a few, though. Let's get that. Okay. Come on. Troops. Um. Okay, good. Okay, very good. So, Nepal, hopefully, we will annex you very soon. Okay, and Bengal. I can't full annex. Really? Wait. What do I have you? Oh, money. Oh. You're 96 overextension. And you're 100 diplo points. So I have to wait for you anyway. Which is not bad. I can't wait. Um, for 100 diplo points. Okay. So hopefully these guys still stay, stay friendly. And hopefully by the time they're not friendly anymore, I could integrate them. You're gonna take 210 points, so you're a nice size to start to integrate you. And I'll feed this guy the rest of the land next time. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight provinces more for Jean Poor to be uh, taken away from Jean Poor. Um, yeah, that is all very much so. Very much so. Okay, still don't see England very nice, very nice. For anybody that could really get over here, it's really the problem. I really want that freaking island. <sighs> Another fucking comment. I hate these comments so much. Like, why they, why they gotta be comments for? Like, seriously. You call, I guess. And I should be improving relations with... I guess really you are, are going to be the next person I integrate. Or it's not actually send. But they're already at 200, so. They're, they should be fine for me to integrate them next. Let integrate. Pretty much so. You better not have rebels in your land. I'm just saying. Better not. Do, 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 I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just I just play along to that song a lot or listen to that song a lot. Okay, Malta. You've been wrecked. What is your peace? 154 already. I may make an exception for Punjab and let them get up to like 100 or like 300 and I'll integrate them. But uh, for people like Nepal, I want to integrate immediately. Yeah. Yeah. And besides, they're already... I, I don't want them to get above 50% um, stronger than me. 
really don't want that. Um, maybe I'll like handle it, but I don't. I don't. I, I just don't want that. What's my course limit? Seventy-three. Pretty nice. Pretty pretty nice. Bengal. I would piece you out, but I need need double points. Like now too. So I do apologize. Can we discover this? Like, please. Holy fuck. I'm really worried, like, I'm really worried that Castile or, or Portugal is already at the Cape. Which makes this a horrible situation for me. Um, yeah. He's at war again. Why is no one putting this guy down? And Muscovy better become a strong nation. Please. Subjugate Novgrad already. Like, as you can see, the reason I said that, and I know that, is because he has the mission. Subjugate Novgorod. Surprised he didn't do that yet, but what can you do? Nepal. We're getting plus 25 to being in a war together, so we have a ways to go to improve relations with this guy. Um, which sucks, but what can I do about that? Yeah. He's improving relations with, is he? Yeah, he's improving relations with the Timurids. It's kind of worrisome. Um, as long as he's not improving relations with the Timurids, I don't care. Like, I don't care about Jean Boer. Our military leader died. That kind of sucks. Okay, finally, peace out. Finally. It's gonna piss off some people, but... Okay, you should be fine. Increase autonomy, increase autonomy, increase autonomy, increase autonomy, and then uh, core this stuff. Holy crap. That's a lot of points it's going to take to core this stuff. Um, is anybody mad, really? 3.4, really? Why are all these people mad? Are, are, oh, probably because my fucking... <laughs> my overextension is 4.8. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't revolt. Like, 6 years, 4.1. Hopefully, I don't have to worry about them immediately revolting. Um, Malta is owned by him. Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> I was going to wipe them off the map, but I can't do that. Um, who are you improving relations with? There are people improving relations with you, but... Like, you're not improving relations with anyone in particular, and I'm really looking for him to improve relations with the Timurids. That is what I'm at, really worried about. Um, I really want to start coring this one, please. Please, please. Okay, so most of these should core before people start to get all uppity and revolt. Core? Yeah. It should be in the keyword. It should be able to correct. Okay. So we have a peace treaty with Jean Poor until 18 or 2. But our choose with Malta ends in uh, measly 6 years. So that's our way to get to war with. Guess who? Jean Poor. Again, of course. That is our way to get to war with Jean Poor. Jean Poor. Okay, we're still colonizing that. A beautiful nation. Our beautiful nation, Hindustan. Um, hmm. Hopefully, Jean Poor is, is fine. I mean, they're being warned by the Timbers, and that's probably, probably why they can't uh, be allies with them. Probably, you know, that's probably the reason. Um, it's time for me to improve relations with thing again. I'll lose 400 ducats. Let's improve relations here. With Sindh because after Nepal, I think it's going to be Sindh. I mean, like, Sindh is also Sunni, so that's, that means I have to cover all the land they take, right? <sighs> Which is not good for me, right? Anyway, with that, that's going to be the end of this episode of Europa Universalis 4 for Guys Dominance. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next episode.